So you can see here that I got a simple two page project right here. So both of them has text, some of the text and one of them has animation. So let's say I want to export my project as an HTML5 project. So in order to do that, I need to be sure that everything will work in HTML5. And to ensure that I can go over here on to uh, the project right over here. And here there's an option called HTML5 tracker. So if I were to click on it, what happens is that the HTML tracker pops up. So whatever that is not supported will actually show up right over here. In this case, it says this animation is not supported. Why is it not supported is because it's an SWF format right over here. Animation only animation image is supported, but the animation is not supported. The animation will not play if I were to export this to HTML5 project. But over here, everything works out. So I can still uh, publish my project right over here. So I can still go to file. I can still go to publish and then publish my project out as an HTML file. So if I were to do SWF, then it'll export out the flash as well. But I'm just going to export this as SWF right over here onto my desktop, just like this. I'm just going to select the folder right over there and export this out. So let me just publish, press OK right over here. And do you wish to view the output? Yes. All right. So once I do that, the output is opened up, as you can see, and this has been published as an HTML uh, file, as you can see, and there's no animation. So it converted the animation, which was not supported into a still frame and then kept it right there. And that is what uh, HTML actually does. But to know what uh, objects don't actually work and you want to make sure that everything works well with your project, then you might want to use HTML5 tracker to see what works and what does not. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.